I could have yours, well. Here's the uh, IGBT, here's an IGBTs out of my powertrain inverter, my VFD. I was um, unsoldered, doing some desoldering. Here's my good soldering station. And um, I used a little one millimetre drill to really drill the holes after I desoldered. Because I didn't want to damage the board trying to go over it again with the desoldering blade. To reduce risk of damaging traces, I just drilled the um, holes out and cleaned the holes out before I put any components in. But I kind of went too far one of the holes and I, uh, I drilled through one layer of this uh, capacitor. I was a little bit closer than I thought and uh, I wrecked that capacitor now. But I replaced it with a new one, enemy valve radio uh, spare parts one. Point two to your at 600 volt DC. So, it's got a new one in there now. I replaced the little, uh, the gate resistor that burnt, I replaced that with a, a normal three hole type. Off an um, Sony stereo, which, you know, if the uh, CD player decoder board had a little resistor on there. A three hole one, same value. Same wattage, so I used it and it worked perfectly. I went to slow my fan down and it's the brake, hit the brake, and uh, my metal got the best of the blade and the blade's unscrewed. It's all good to go, this one. Now the motor's going slowly. Looks normal. It's all normal. Run. Hurt. I haven't calibrated the VFD for that lower frequency on that motor. About 4 hertz it starts to go. Running quite nicely. But if I have repaired this VFD, woohoo! I just looked online and um, they don't seem to sell these on eBay anymore. This brand's not easy to find anymore, so I'll look after this VFD. So I won't trash this one anymore. Strictly for fan use. I've got to uh, dig out the book and redo this uh, potentiometer. I just can't seem to reprogram this for the speed anymore. I just could not get it back. I want to reprogram this for the speed control instead of these two buttons. I can easily do a quick with this one. But I've got to dig the book out for it. Actually, one thing I didn't do, I've got to go and buy some uh, plastic coat and spray that circuit board with the uh, lacquer again. Because I've burnt most of that off now when I've desoldered the components, but you can't really see it on the camera. But my yellow capacitor in there, you could just see it in there with the light. That yellow thing, well, that's the new capacitor, which is all good. The uh, resistor for the gate resistor, I just bodged it on top as a surface mount. It looks it's all nice and neat, so that's actually worked quite well. Very happy this actually repaired, so successful repair. The uh, drivers thankfully didn't get popped. Anyway, that'd be enough for now. Thanks for watching.